Hi, I'm Shana with Adventures in Fluff, and this is my hand washing routine. So, first thing in the morning, after I've changed Lincoln's diaper, I rinse off his diapers. I actually do this after each diaper change, just to get out all the urine or poop if he's pooping his diaper. So I'm just going to squeeze everything out, and I've actually already done this a little bit, so we're just going to leave that in there. But normally I squeeze it until, you know, I felt it was fairly rinsed out. I'll just squeeze all that water out, and we'll throw this into my washing bucket. My washing bucket is actually a five-gallon paint bucket and I fit about a day's worth of dirty diaper laundry in there, which is about five or six flats, anywhere from five to seven actually, uh, about two to three covers, and about uh, five to seven wipes or so. So um, I'm going to fill up my bucket with warm water. I'm going to fill this up until it's about three quarters of the way full. I have a plunger and if you look really closely I have drilled holes into my plunger both at the top and um, in the bottom but it's actually already squeezed in there so you can't really see but um, that's how we get the water flow going through it so I'm just going to plunge these diapers bringing the plunger up out of the water to get air flow in there which helps to work with the pressure of the air helps to bring out some of that the messes out of the diapers. We're going to do this about five minutes and then I'll come back. Just make sure when you're doing it that you're moving from side to side, some in the middle, some on the side, and really getting those diapers to move around. So we'll be back in five minutes and we'll continue on. Okay, now I've been agitating this for about five minutes now, so it's time to drain it out. Now, if I had poofy diapers in here, then I would probably let it set for about a half an hour and then come back and agitate it for another couple of minutes um, just to get the poop fully saturated and soft and um, easy to rinse out. But since I only have pee diapers right now, I'm going to skip that step. So now we're just going to drain all of the water out of this bucket, which is easier said than done when you're holding a camera. So normally I'd hold all the diapers in there with my plunger and press so that, you know, kind of like this in order to get all of the water out of the diapers. Try and press as much water as you can out of them. That way um, you don't have a lot of that pea-soaked water in there. So um, I'll come back. I'm going to press these and come back and we'll continue. Okay, I got that all drained out. And now we're just going to fill this up with hot water. Let that rest and get it going really good and hot. Got my little helper, helper over here. Hi, Link. <laughs> Tell you to really sit over here while I do the diaper laundry. Okay, that felt good. So we're just going to fill this up three quarters of the way full again. 
about as hot as water as you can possibly get into the bucket. We're now going to put in our detergent, which I normally use about a tablespoon of Eco Sprout, but today I'm going to try a tablespoon of the Tide and see how that goes. We're then going to take our plunger and we're going to agitate again for another five minutes. So I'll see you back here in another five minutes. Okay, we've been agitating for about five minutes and we've built up a good bubble base, which actually I've noticed uh, does not happen when you're using more of a um, natural uh, detergent such as EcoScrot or something like that. So don't be alarmed if you don't get bubbles with some of your detergents. But um, let's dump this out and we will refill for the rinse. Okay, we got everything all drained out, so let's fill it up. And I'm just going to fill it up with some um, warm, warmish water. Nothing too cold, nothing too hot. Just about room temperature. We're going to try and get this all rinsed out. take our plunger and we're going to agitate this a little bit more. So what we're looking for is to see if there's going to be any bubbles. If there's bubbles, we're going to have to do another rinse after this. And it looks like, looks like there might be a teensy bit. So I think we'll be safe with um, just rinsing each diaper underneath the faucet like I usually do. If there were a lot of bubbles, I'd say fill your bucket back up and rinse again. I'm just going to agitate just for about two minutes this time. You don't need to go the full five minutes when rinsing. We're not really cleaning, we're just trying to squeeze out any of the detergent that might still be stuck in your cloth diaper. So we're going to keep doing this for about two minutes and we'll come back and we'll drain this bucket load. Okay, I finished agitating for about two minutes and we're just going to dump this bucket load. And since it's our last rinse, it's fine just to dump out the whole bucket. And this is where we're going to put all of our um, diapers since we rinse each one off and uh, squeeze them out a little bit. So I'm just going to turn on the water and we're just going to take each one and rinse it off and squeeze just a bit. doesn't matter if you squeeze it all out, I'm going to end up squeezing it outside in the grass when I put it on the clothesline anyway. So just go through each of your items, rinse them off, that helps to get off the last bit of bubbles. And uh, we'll be good to go to go hang these up outside. So I'm going to finish rinsing each of these off and uh, meet you outside. Okay, so we're outside, and here's my clothesline. I just have it 
hooked up to a bird feeder pole way over there and then my girl's tether ball over on the other side and it just works out really perfectly and um, so let's get started and we'll start hanging this stuff up to dry. So what I do is um, I basically wring it out just a little bit um, in the bathtub and then wring out the rest of it when I get outside. I just fold them in half, fold them in half again, roll them up, and twist. Kind of bend and then shake them back out. And then we're ready to hang. I'll just continue on with these until I get them all hung up, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got everything all hung up here. We ended up with about four flat diapers and five wipes and three covers. So my flat diapers I just pin uh, one on each side, save pins by linking two together and um, my wipes I just uh, hang them laying down like this. I used to drape them over the top kind of like that and then pin them but they're drying a little bit faster if I just let them free float down and let the wind uh, kick them up a little bit. The covers I pin um, insides out so that I don't um, bleach the uh, outside fabrics. And then I lay them in this direction instead of hanging them because I don't want to put any extra strain on the elastics. So I try and keep the elastics good by um, hanging the covers in this direction. It makes them take a little bit longer on drying, but I think it's worth it just to save the elastic. So my bird's eye flats will probably dry within an hour or so. I do have one bamboo terry out here. That one takes about two hours to dry because it's a little bit thicker. The wipes take anywhere between two to three hours and so do the covers. Now you could uh, dry the covers a little bit faster if I were to roll them up in a towel and squeeze out a lot of that extra water but then I just end up with a wet towel and I don't mind waiting the extra hour or so to wait for them to dry. So, um, so I'm just going to let them hang here a little bit dripping. So we'll wait a couple hours and then we'll come and take all this down. off the line. It looks like everything's pretty much dry and uh, get those shaken out and fluff them up. So what I usually will do is take them off one by one and they're going to feel a little bit stiff when you first take them off. So what I do is take them by the corners and then just snap them a little bit. And I usually do this in a couple directions. That way it fluffs them really well. So I usually do that on all four corners if you want. Kind of run them through your hands or snap them against your leg. And that really uh, softens up your flat. Then I'll usually pad fold them. And then they're ready to go. 
So there you go. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Adventures in Fluff and my hand washing and drying routine. And I hope you'll join me again soon.